Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So welcome back to the lecture series of finite volume and where we will continue our discussion where we left in the last lecture. So piezo is kind of a combination of these two solver. So what happened to simple C algorithm? Now again as I said this is a modified version of simple algorithm and it is derived by assuming the velocity correction at point C is some sort of an, so the velocity correction at C is some sort of an weighted average correction. Uh, so uh, I mean taking care of that some weighted average corrections of the neighboring elements. So, one mathematics becomes then B C prime which was calculated as over all the cell A f V V f prime over f N B C A f B which will get you summation of f over all the cell a f b b f which will be v c prime f n b c a f b. Now, we use our h operator that we have done. So, this guy can be written as like f n b c a f b b f prime by a c v equals to B C prime summation of F over C A F B by A C V equals to H C V prime equals to B C prime H C 1. And then instead of neglecting the A C bar V prime term. So, in simple what we have done that it neglects the term A c bar B prime. So, instead of now in this case we do not neglect this term rather it is uh, replaced. So, in this particular case this term is replaced by an equation which can be corrected as 1 plus H C 1 B C prime equals to minus D C V delta P prime C which will lead to B C prime equals to minus D C V delta P prime C. So, now what it does? So, from here one can use to derive the pressure correction equation and the same result can be achieved by adding and subtracting the term of F N B C A A B B C from the momentum equation. So, you use this one in the momentum equation and then if once you do that the combining everything it will lead to the a c v plus summation of f n b c a f b b c plus f n b c a f b b f minus b c equals to minus b c delta p c plus b c b which in turn in a compact form one can write b c plus H C V minus B C equals to minus D C 
delta p c plus b c. So, this it can be used for the velocity corrections as b c prime equals to minus h c v prime minus v c prime minus d c v delta p prime c. So, the term this term is dropped which is equivalent to the approximation of the previous equation I mean a modified velocity correction is used driving the pressure correction. So, this is dropped and only this retain this term. So, this is a better estimate in simple c uh, <coughs> the relaxation of the pressure becomes unnecessary and as compared to simple. So, in this case we may not require to be the relax the pressure and the resultant velocity corrections will satisfy better the momentum equation, but consequently at higher convergence rate is obtained. So, the convergence rate is higher for this case. So, that is important. Now, the second another algorithm which sits in between is called the prime algorithm. Prime is stands for pressure implicit pressure implicit momentum explicit. So, the momentum equation solve explicitly and the explicit treatment is justified by the small contribution to the convergence. On the other hand the pressure correction uh, pressure equation is solved implicitly. So, since the momentum equation is solved explicitly one can get the new or intermediate velocity corrections like minus h c v n minus d c v delta p n then c plus v c b and the velocity correction is applied to derive the pressure correction equation. So, the correction fields are now the correction fields one can obtain as v c double star equals to v c star plus v c prime and p c star equals to p c n plus p c prime and the corrected field this will satisfy the equation v c double star equals to minus a c v double star minus d c v delta p star c plus b c v which is minus h c v star plus v prime minus d c v delta p n plus p prime which is c plus v c b. Now, which will lead to the expression relating to the pressure and velocity field like v c prime equals to minus h c v star minus v n plus h c v prime minus d c v delta p c prime. So, this particular term I mean if you substitute in the continuity equation which will get you back minus f n b c rho f d f delta p f dot s f equals to minus summation f n b c m dot star f plus summation n b c rho f h f v star minus v n plus h bar v prime dot s f. Now, the underlying term which is here this can be neglected or typically this is neglected. So, the term which is neglected in the prime this underlying term can become smaller and the but then the term neglected in the simple. The simple algorithm the neglected 
term was H c V prime. So, this was not that smaller and can lead to the I mean slower convergence rate, but in this prime algorithm this term is quite com smaller compared to that and the neglection of that term does not have too much of difference and it actually leads to better convergence. So, now using this simple C and prime the algorithm which actually works is a piezo algorithm. So, piezo algorithm is an interesting it stands for again the in between of this simple and these things. And what happens in the piezo algorithm that the which one neglected term in the uh, simple algorithm like H c V prime it is partially recovered in second character step. So, the piezo is essentially based on some sort of a predictor character kind of approach and so what one can look at it that because we have in the simple we have computed V prime and then neglected this guy the continuity satisfying the V star star the quantity V star star and pressure P star. So, which were used to recalculate the coefficients of the momentum equation and then to solve it explicitly the new velocity field V star star is also used to calculate the M star 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 at the element faces using re chow interpolation and this guy A c V prime is also partially recovered and the equation that does is that equals to V c triple star plus V c double prime which is minus H c V double star this is double star minus D c V double star delta P star c plus V c double prime which will be minus H c double star V V star plus V prime minus D C V double star delta P star C plus V C double prime which is minus H C double star V star minus H C double star V prime minus D C V double star delta P star C plus V C double prime and this if you write H C double star V star minus D C V double star delta P star C minus H C double star H C double star minus D C V delta P prime C plus V C double prime. So, this equivalent to your V C triple star. So, this will become V C 1 triple star plus V C double prime minus H C double star D C V delta P prime C. So, this term represent the portion of the H C V prime which was neglected and it is kind of in this algorithm partially recovered. And the second velocity correction the second velocity correction that satisfies that V c double prime equals to minus H c double star V double prime minus D c V double star delta P prime C. Now, using the Ryucha interpolation between points, so interpolation between C and F, these are the cell neighbors, one can obtain the new pressure corrections equation 
which is n b c rho f d f delta p f double prime dot s f equals to minus f n b c m dot f star plus summation of f n b c rho f h f bar v double prime dot s f. So, this is again a term which are again this is neglected in the piezo also and this character step may be replaced as many as times desired so that you can lead to better convergence. So, if you look at how it works, so this actually kind of giving you the complete piezo algorithm and one can also look at it any um, finite volume books those are mentioned it is a very standard algorithm. So, what happens you first this is at the t plus delta t time iteration. So, this is a physical iteration. So, outer loop as we have done in the simple this is physical time integration. So, what you do at the time level t plus delta t. So, you have all m dot f n. So, here m dot f n v n p n. So, these are all guess. So, this step is the guessing step. So, you guess everything. Then you assemble and solve for momentum equation for all the star quantity. That means, the first level of intermediate step where you calculate all the star quantity. Then you compute here the m dot f star using Rio Chow interpolation. You then after that at this step you collect everything and solve for pressure corrections. Once you are done then obviously using the pressure correction the m dot f star v star and p n is obtained. So, these are use this correct these things to get m dot f double star. So, at this step you finally get m dot f double star and v double star and p star which is calculated based on these values which are corrected values using the p prime equations. Now, this portion of the algorithm particularly this is exactly what we do in the simple algorithm. Now, here we again assemble everything and explicitly solve for the momentum and here you solve for v triple star because already at the second level of correction. So, what happens is that it goes in multi level iteration. So, the first level you do simple kind of algorithm and initially you started with the guess value once you get a corrected value you use that for the next level of algorithm where you obtain v star v double star. Then again you calculate the m dot f triple star using Ryucha interpolation then you get pressure corrections equation here you corrections for p double prime and then after that at this step what you do this step you actually get the corrections field m dot f triple star b triple star and p star and this correction fields are used to calculate m dot f fourth star b fourth star and p double star. So, these are used. Now, if the number of character step exceeded if it is yes then you move if it is no then you actually assign those value here to the double star value and repeat this process. So, this is the part of prime algorithm and this prime algorithm is repeated, but if that is exceeded then you do at this step you get m dot f n equals to m dot f 4 star b n equals to v 4 star 
and P n equals to P double star. So, you, you assign that if it is converged you move ahead, if it is not you go back and repeat this test. So, again you compile simple or piezo algorithm. If it is converged you update these things for the next t plus delta t iteration, advance in time again the time limit exceeded stop or you go back and do the physical iteration. So, it does twice kind of or two times of the iteration in the process and now that is why piezo is provide better stability, better convergence and if you have a slightly uh, non orthogonal skewed grid and those kind of cases actually piezo works better than simple algorithm or simple C algorithm. So, that is why it is preferred and lot of the CFD codes actually is based on piezo they provide a better stability and better convergence. Now, moving ahead we have used under relaxation factor. So, now one can look at the optimum under relaxation factor for V and pressure corrections. So, what one can see if you recall the velocity corrections how we do that? We do that minus d c into del p c and once and calculating the pressure field we use some sort of an under relaxation in the velocity corrections and we wrote in this fashion where V c prime equals to minus H c V prime lambda d c delta p prime c. So, that is how we written and now if you equate these two guys or these two equations one can write minus d c delta p prime equals to minus H c V prime minus lambda which will provide lambda p equals to this or so that gives an so, the simple C algorithm eliminated the need to under relaxation pressure corrections and result in an optimum acceleration rate. So, therefore, using an approximation introduced with the simple seal, the velocity corrections at C can be written and weighted average like this. So, this is done in simple C and this is the corrections for lambda for P prime. So, the pressure correction equation this kind of correction factor. Now, when you move ahead from the simple to simple c the kind of uh, corrections was eliminated and the velocity corrections can be estimated like this. This already we have seen. So, there is nothing new here that we are writing. So, you just, if you go back to your expression for the simple c or simple algorithm you will find this expression and then the coefficients can be written in this fashion invoking the under relaxation factor. So, if you simplify that you will get this and so the role of under relaxation would limit to this. Now, if you substitute this equation in the velocity corrections approximation here, if you use this one here then you get V c prime equals to a b by lambda from where you get lambda p equals to 1 minus lambda b. So, what people have seen that that simple algorithm with its under relaxation factor satisfying this equation provides to similar to that kind of simple C kind of algorithm. So, that is an optimum lambda calculation for simple algorithm which can behave like an simple C algorithm. Now, one more important thing which one can discuss is the Rio Chow interpolation and the treatment of the various terms in the Ryuchai interpolation. So, first one can look at the under relaxation term. Now, the under relaxation term in the momentum equation this is how one has written the momentum equation and the under relaxation term written like that. So, if you do some sort of an algebra this is for momentum equation and velocity corrections you get back this equation which is again we have looked at while looking at the momentum corrections equation and then the Rio Chow interpolation should be written in this fashion and the this particular term one can express that contribution from the element C and the contribution from element F. So, finally, this actually leads to a some sort of an calculations of the phase variable which is written as V F. So, all this algebra you can carry out because this starts with the momentum equation. 
the important point here is that you get back the surface value which is a average surface value then there is a delta p f and delta p gradient and then 1 minus lambda so this is how when you use under relaxation the rio chao interpolation actually gets modified similarly same equations can get modified for the temporal discretization so when you have written the temporal here this stands for t minus delta t or previous time steps and nothing stands for t or the present time step so this is my momentum equation with all the uh, discretized form then you write at the face this is the um, modified and the phase value can be average like that and once you uh, expand this finally you get this is an important calculation for the transient term how the phase value one can treat and that case you get phase value minus this and you use these things so also one can do the treatment of the under relax uh, body force term and body force term if you do the treatment so uh, you can actually get so uh, and then just let us look at one important thing for the interpolations for all combined effects which takes care of the under relaxation term under relaxation term transient term and it also takes care of the body force term so then the surface vector vf is a average dfb delta pf minus delta pf grau uh, bar dfb this will the term which will come due to body force term and then these contributions are there so this is how one can look at the interpolation scheme in this kind of system now having said that that pretty much actually takes care of the discussion on the incompressible flow now we'll extend the discussion similar discussion where you can also obtain the pressure corrections equation or all these things for compressible cases now there is a important difference between compressible case where it is like that its density is no more constant and mach number is quite high or greater than 1 so that's where the compressibility effect starts acting and once that is happening you cannot actually assume the density to be constant rather density to be approximated using ideal gas law so that's where the now in the compressible flow solver there are two types of approach one can have density based algorithm and one can have pressure based algorithm and what we are discussing so far all are pressure based algorithm and when deriving the equation for the incompressible case we didn't bother about density too much though we retain the density in the turn so similar algorithm we can directly uh, extend for the compressible cases now the other thing is that density based algorithm is not the i mean scope of this particular lecture so one can talk about that in details in a separate lecture because it has different kind of issues all together so right now we will concentrate on pressure based algorithm and can see how we can achieve now these are the set of equation this is your continuity equation this is your momentum equation this is your energy equation now when you and one more equation which will be required is the ideal gas law p equals to rho rt which will get you calculate the rho by p by rt so top of this all you need this equation where the pressure and density can be calculated and connected with the temperature so in compressible case when we are talking about now if you see the difference between incompressible case we did not really bother about the energy equation but when you come down to compressible case so these are very standard equation and any textbook on fluid mechanics or compressible flow you can find this equation so there is no point going into the details of this discussion so and rather we have done detailed discussion in our initial lectures 
when we derived our governing equations. Now, these are connected. So, let us look at a element C, which is our standard element. You have all these six faces and these are fluxes or flux vector and then if you actually take a volume integral of the diffusion term which will convert to a surface integral like this which we have already seen and delta dot mu f will be mu f into this. And any flux gradient calculation can be contributed one is the gc and gf, gc and gf are the geometric coefficients which we have used earlier. Now, how would you derive actually pressure corrections equation? So, first equation that will start with p equals to rho r t and if you expand rho using some sort of an use Taylor series to expand rho, then you write a rho equals to rho plus del rho by del p. So, it is rho star plus rho prime. So, rho prime becomes C p like this. So, similarly you have the corrections of the velocity and pressure field. So, the pressure previous pressure plus correction density velocity mass flow rate. When we looked at the incompressible case we did not bother to look at the corrections of the density. Now, we need both corrections of all the density and all this then if you put this in the semi discretized equation this is how it looks like where mass flow rate would be rho f star plus rho f prime v f star plus v f prime and which will boils down to two quantity. So, this is the second correction term is usually this is neglected and then we obtain the detail correction term. Now, we will stop here today and we will take from here in the follow up lectures. Thank you.